supposing you take a piece of embroidery and here it is obviously in front of you an ordered and beautiful object and then you take out a microscope and you look at the individual threads at a certain point as you turn up the microscope you'll get a hopeless tangle which doesn't make any sense at all the wrapped fiber that constitutes the thread is a mess hasn't been organized nobody did anything about it but at the level of magnification at which you actually see it with the naked eye it's all been organized all right now keep turning up that microscope take one of those individual threads in the fiber that seems to be so chaotic and go into the constitution of that and again you'll find fantastic order find the most gorgeous designs of uh, molecules then to keep turning it up and again at a certain level you'll find chaos again all right keep going and at another level you'll find this marvelous order now you see order and randomness constitute in other words the warp and the woof but we wouldn't know what order was unless we had messes It's the contrast of order and message that order itself depends upon. And so in this exactly the same way, it is the contrast of on and off, there and not there. In other words, life and death, being and non-being, that constitutes existence. When you lose sight of the fact that the 
order principle and the random principle go together. That's exactly the same predicament as losing sight of the fact that all individually delineated things and beings are connected underneath.